Hello and welcome, welcome to uh, Frank's School. Second year, 52nd day, first video. Uh, now, I have some very, very good news uh, for me, anyway. It is very good news. But before I get to that, I want to deal with this. Um, in a newspaper <clears throat> two days ago, I think, there was an article about uh, Levi Zook. Uh, he's Amish, and uh, he um, is going to move his... his himself and his community, his family and his community, they're going to leave Pennsylvania and go to New York. Uh, in a sense, I'm, I say to myself, thank God there still is upper New York State. Um, Nicktown, Pennsylvania, Amish, if you look those three words up, you can find the story. Um, and you might wonder, well, what's that have to do with my course? Well, <laughs> He's leaving because he, he, his culture is not the same as the culture of the world around him. They use outhouses. They don't use leach fields. When they, they don't flush toilets with water, uh, it, it's so different. I mean, the Amish are indeed different. And sometimes I think to myself, uh, maybe I'm a closet Amish, Amishman. I don't think so. I like love, Shakespeare, too much, I think, to be a, an Amishman. But I decided I would stop and, and say something about that. Uh, and I have up here, When Worlds Collide. I never saw the movie. There was a movie in the 1950s called When Worlds Collide. It was about planets smashing together or something. But I think that's what is going on here in Pennsylvania. I think worlds are colliding. And, uh, and the world of the Amish and the world of the rest, most of the rest of Americans, are, they are basically two worlds. And they collide when it comes to things like um, uh, building standards or uh, what is it, Devir Environmental Protection Agency, e whatever, Department of Environment Protection, DEP or something. They're different worlds. Uh, they're different worlds. Uh, and uh, and I, why I'm taking the time with this, I think, is because of, of these two things, uh, extreme recycling, but especially kilocalories as currency. If that were developed, kilocalories as currency, and if this situation, the situation of the Amish in Nicktown, Pennsylvania, Levi Zook, could be measured in terms of kilocalories as currency, they are absolutely in the right and it, it occurred to me that just as I suggested that uh, the life and death of a sofa in Germany might be an interesting study, or the kilocalories consumed by the American hunter could be a study. Well, the Amish contribution to global warming could be a study. And if that were really studied, and global warming were brought into the issue, and it were studied in terms of kilocalories as currency, I think it would become blatantly obvious that they are in the right. There's something wrong here. Okay, well, uh, do, do with that what you wish. The, the really, really good news for me is that the lost videos have been found. Uh, I, I, th I am talking about the videos of my walk along the Masaveg, uh, the Bis, in Switzerland. Um, I, I had not seen them until this morning, and I found them. They were in the computer. And that's the way I remembered it. I remembered that I had filmed for a while as I walked the Bis, but then the batteries failed, and I had to ask Erica if she would take over and take more pictures than usual, since I couldn't film. 
and and I have found them, and now they will be online, or they are online already, as uh, the fifty second day, the second video. What I had, if you want to see what I was hoping for as the best uh, option, uh, then go to the six minute thirtieth second of the slideshow from yesterday, and it's at that point that I couldn't film anymore and Erica's uh, still photos had to take over. And then one other thing I would say is those, they are so long, 20 minutes. I mean, even if you do this, you've got 13 minutes plus to watch. I would say turn the quote unquote music off. Uh, that, that background music is okay, it's, it's calm, it's nice. But uh, if, if you find it uh, tedious uh, or invasive, just turn the volume down and look at it. Personally, I am thrilled. I was so happy when I realized this morning, early this morning, that I had those videos. And so you really can sort of experience walking along abyss in, in Valais in Switzerland. I'll have more to say about that, uh, obviously, uh, tomorrow. But that's enough for today. See you next time.